Some say at a time like this that we gather because of the death of a loved one. Well, that may be true. I think that it is more correct to say that we have gathered here because of the life of a loved one. As they pass from this life to the next, let us thank God for their life here with us. Jesus said this, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, yet they shall live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. We have gathered here to worship God and to give thanks to God for the life of Clarabelle Brenneman. She was born in March 29, 1928, in Marion, Ohio, to the late Harry and Lula May Lehman. In March 18, 1947, she married Donald V. Brenneman, who preceded her in death on March 28, 1999. She is survived by five children, Carl, Dale, Alan, Carolyn, Diana, and 17 grandchildren and 19 great-grandchildren. She is preceded in death by a son, Mike Brenneman, a grandson, Michael Brenneman II, and four brothers, Raymond, Howard, Robert, and Carl. Mike's remains are here and will also use this time to uh, dedicate this land and his physical remains as well. We gather here to dedicate an earthly resting place for Clarabelle and Mike's physical remains. But this is not their final resting place, as some might say, because death does not have the last word. God does, and death is not the end for God's people. As we dedicate this place, May we do so as we also remember the hope of the resurrection that is ours through Jesus Christ. The Apostle Paul wrote this, For I know whom I have believed, and am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him to that day. 2 Timothy 1.12 Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we dedicate this place, we ask you to help us sense your presence here so that we may receive the comfort and hope of your promises and of your power. We also pause to give you thanks for the gift of life, for our own life, for the life of those we love, and the lives of Clarabelle and Mike, that they lived among us. This we ask in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the book of Nehemiah, in the Old Testament, chapter 5, verse 19, we read Nehemiah asking God, even pleading with God, to remember the good that he has done. And this is a prayer that we all either have made or will make one day, one way or another. The people would remember the good that we have done. There was once a political cartoon of a famous politician who it was made after he had died. In this cartoon, you see this politician is approaching the pearly gates of heaven, and you see St. Peter sitting there at his desk with two folders. One folder is marked the good, and the other the bad. Both are rather large, and the caption has St. Peter saying to his assistant, you can take the rest of the afternoon off. This is going to take a while. While I laughed at this cartoon, I thought of Clarabelle. I have heard that she was a strong and resilient lady, that she always kept others laughing and that she could be feisty. I thought that Clarabelle would probably laugh at the cartoon as well, admitting that her folders may take St. Peter a while to read. If I was honest, I would say that St. Peter would probably take a while to read my folders as well. I'm glad that that's not how such things work with God. I would join with King David in Psalm 130, verse 3, where he says to God, he says, If you, O Lord, kept a record of sins, O Lord, who could stand? But the next verse recorded by David is the good news. He says, But with you, the Lord, there is forgiveness. May we all celebrate how God offers forgiveness for our wrongs and remembers the good. And we may seek to be more like God in doing the same for others. We all have that folder on St. Peter's desk labeled the bad, as it were. And Claire Bell would have been the first to admit this. But what an encouragement it is to know that because of God's forgiveness, we have a certain hope. Because of what God the Son has accomplished coming in the flesh, dying on the cross, taking our sins on the cross, 
so that we could be forgiven. If you, O Lord, kept a record of sins, Lord, who could stand? But with you there is forgiveness, so that we can, with reverence, serve you. And so we leave to our loving God the future with the trusting hope that is ours in Christ Jesus. Revelation 21 says, I heard a great voice saying this, Behold, the presence of God is with his people, and he will live with them, and they will be his people. God himself will be with them and will be their God. God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death, sadness, crying, or pain, because all of the old ways are gone. And now, according to the eternal plan, body returns to the earth as it was, and the spirit to God who gave it. To all that is material, we say earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. But to the spirit, we cry, now thou art free, free from pain, sickness, and sorrow, free from all physical handicaps, free to greet old friends and to make new ones, free to be with our loving creator. And now may the God of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you all now and forevermore. Amen.